Taipita people. Um, so this morning we're gonna start with how to cook the rice and I'm gonna show you two different cookers. Uh, the first one here is the aroma cooker and it is meant for in-home use. It does have a commercial capability to it. So you can use it, but it is not NSF. So some health departments will not uh, allow you to have them in their restaurants. Uh, so then in that circumstance, we would use this um, Proctor uh, cooker. It, this one runs about $200, so it is more expensive. But of course, this one is NSF and we kind of expect the long-term life to be a lot longer on this one. Uh, but we have had the Aroma one for about six months here at the NTC and it has, not, we've had zero issues with it. Uh, so I'll start with this one since I think the majority of you guys will be ordering this one. It's about $45, $50 on Amazon. Um, so you will need first your rice cooker and then you'll need a couple more things to get you started. You will need this six ounce spoon. You'll, it looks a lot like the smoothie scoop for protein but it's six ounces versus I believe that one's two ounces. And then of course the bowls and the lids. And the rice. It is a pre-mixed rice, um, brown rice and quinoa mix. So customers will not have the capability to order just brown rice or just quinoa. It is a mix um, that all comes together. It's super easy to make. So. No matter what cooker you're using, you will pour the whole bag in first. It's very important that you put the rice um, quinoa mix in first. And uh, then always make sure that it's in the liner and not in the actual pot. So, pour it in. And then both of these cookers, no matter which one you're using, they have lines on the side they are talking about the water lines. So for a full bag of the rice, you will pour the rice in first and then fill it up to the 10.